Hey, good morning, dear ladies. Shabbat Shalom, Vorach, Sorot Tovot, Good News, Bread Pan Us, and Klal Israel. Let's bless first Bezat Hashem that we will all have the food to greet. Mashiach Zitkan Barchamim Murim Bimra Be'amein Amen. Eliyahu Navi Eliyahu Tishbiliyahu Gradi Bimra Avon Moshech David Eliyahu Navi Zachur Latov. And may we all have the food to see the building of Beit Hamikdash Shlishi Bimra Be'amein Amen. Ki Ayin Ba'ayin Neru Bishabbat Nei Tzion. Ata Takum Terachem Tzion Ki Et Lechanena Kiva Moed. Hashivenu Adonai Lecha Venashuba Chadesh Amenu Kekedem. And may we all have the schut to go to the land of Israel on the wings of eagle, and may we all have part in Eretz Yisrael. And everything that we are doing is schut kol Yisrael, Bezrat Hashem. So, dear ladies, we are in the month of Elul, the month of Rachamim and Slichot, Bezrat Hashem. And we are going to speak about how do we crown Hashem in this world. So in order to start, first we're going to go to Mishneh Torah Rambam, And in Mishneh Torah Rambam Besefer Amada, Ilchot Yesodei Torah. And the first thing that Rambam says is this. This is chapter 1, Halacha 1. Yesodei Yesodot v'amud ha-chokhmot li'ida sheyesha matsui rishon והוא ממציא כל הנמצא, וכל הנמצאים מן השמיים בארץ, ומה ביניהם לא נמצאו אלא מהמיטה תימצאו. So the foundation of all of foundations and the first of pillar of all wisdom is to know that there's a first being, that he caused all beings to be, and that all beings from heaven and earth and from between them could not be say from the truth of his own being. This is the first thing that we need to know that is the creator to the world. In order to atoin him and in order to crown him in the world, we need to know in our hearts, not only in our mouth, but in our hearts that there's a creator to the world. And the second Rambam says, ואם יעלה על הדעת שהוא אינו מצוי, אין דבר אחר יכול להימצאות. Which means that if we suppose that he is, does not exist, there's nothing that will exist, exist in this world. The third thing, um, the third thing, which means even if everybody will cease to exist, Hashem exists. He's the king of the universe. He created the universe. So we need to know that even if nobody is here, Hashem was before, He will be after. He doesn't need the beings that He created in this world. So it says, which means that the truth of his beings is, is incomparable to the truth of any other individual being. So this is the basis of acknowledging and crowning Hashem in this world, which we see in Elchot Yesod Yesodei HaTorah Shel HaRambam. So how Besiyat HaDishmaya, we crown Hashem in this world. So first let's go to Malachi. Let's go to Malachi, and over there, Hashem has a conversation in Sefer Malachi between the children of Israel and him, and himself. And over there, he tells us, and this is what we need for the month of Elul, Besiyat HaDishmaya, that we'll remember, we are, now we are preparing ourselves, the king is in the field, we are preparing ourselves, Bezrat Hashem for Rosh Hashanah, we are preparing ourselves for the big judgment day, which three books are open, the book of life, the book of death, and the book of the intermediate. This determines if we will have life this year, this coming, Bezrat Hashem, this coming year. So Hashem says over here in chapter 1 and verse Pasuk Vav, verse 6, it says, Ben Yechabed Av Ve'eved Adonav, which means a son respects his father, honors his father, and the servant, his master, so Hashem asks, and this is what he asks us now on the month of Elul, if I'm a father, where is my respect? 
ואם אדונים אני, and if I'm a master, if I'm a king, he says Hashem upon himself, I am or I, where is my fear? So in order to, to put, to crown Hashem in this world, we have to have the fear of Hashem. We have to have the understanding that, like the Rambam said, that Hashem created the world. He was at the beginning, he will be at the end. He doesn't need the beings that he created in this world. If they cease to exist, Hashem exists. And the truth is Hashem is for eternity. That's why the seal of Hashem is Bereshit Bara Elokim. In the beginning Hashem created the initials of Bereshit Bara Elokim is Bereshit, it's Taf, Bara, it's Aleph, Elokim, Mem, it's Emet, truth. So truth is absolute. Good and, and not good is subjective, but truth is absolute, it's objective. It's the truth of Hashem, Besiyat Adishmael. So how do we accept? Every day we accept Besiyat Adishmael, the crowning of Hashem, through Shema Yisrael. We say Shema Yisrael in order to crown Hashem in this world. Chafetz Chaim says it's not only to crown Hashem in this world, because Rabbi Yisrael Miselan says there are people who crown Hashem in the world, but they forget to crown Him upon, him, upon themselves. So there's a beautiful thing that we say before we go to sleep in Shema Yisrael. Just a minute, I need to go to this. So we say like this. We say L'Shem Yechud, and then we say, Areni mekabelet alai, that I'm accepting upon myself, Elohuto itbarach ve'avato v'irato, I'm accepting upon myself his, uh, I'm accepting upon myself God, bless his name, ve'avato v'irato, and his love, and his fear, ve'areni yarem imenu, and I have the fear of him, begin dehu shal, darav v'shalit al kola, because he is the ruler of everything. He's the king of the world. Vechola kamekela, and everything is, uh, is nothing uh, compared to Hashem. Vareni mamlicho, I'm going to crown Hashem, I'll call ever veever, on each organ and organ, vegid vegid, and each vein and vein. Meramach Evarim, for a man, from, upon 248 organs, but for a woman, 252 organs, the Shasagidim, and 365 veins, shall go fee nafshi of my body and my soul, and nafshi veruchi venishmati, all of the parts of the soul, nafshi, that is in the blood, the part of the soul, the, the beastly part of the soul which is in the blood. Ruhi, which the part of the soul, a higher part of the soul, which is in, uh, mainly in the heart. Venishmati, which is the part of the soul that is mainly in the mind, in the brain. Malchut gumura ushlema, I'm accepting his kingdom as a whole kingdom over myself, my organs, my veins. Vareini eved, which means vareini shifcha for a woman, and I am a servant lehashem barach. Because I accepted his kingdom, I'm accepting and crowning him upon myself. He will help me with a whole heart and a whole soul to do his will. Because following the commandments of Hashem, going on his way, in, in Hashem's way, is Dvar Hashem, is the will of Hashem. So if... If we are crowning Hashem upon ourselves, we need to do the will of Hashem. So the will of Hashem is unity. Unity of Hashem and unity of the children of Israel. Unity of Hashem is studying the Torah and following His commandments. Because by studying the Torah, we, this is a parallel to Yudke Vavke, the name of Hashem, of Chesed, and of mercy. And by, by doing the mitzvot, following the commandments, we are uniting the Shechina, the Divine Presence, with Hashem, everything is united. And the unity of Hashem depends on the unity of the children of Israel. Because the Zohar HaKadosh says that Kut Shaberichu, Yisrael, Oraita and Israel, which means Hashem, the Torah, and the children of Israel, Chadhu, are one. 
Because Hashem created the world for the children of Israel that they will study the Torah. Hashem looked at the Torah and created the world. That's why Bereshit, Bereshit Vuata, the, the beginning of the harvest, is the children of Israel. And Rashid Darko, and the beginning of his way, is the Torah. So all of this is united. It's one. The children of Israel that study the Torah and follow the commandments are partners of Hashem to, uh, to rebuild every day and every day of the week. Because only because of the children of Israel, the world exists. The children of Israel that study Torah and follow the commandments. This gives livelihood to the world and we become partners to Hashem in giving livelihood to the, to the days and to all of the world. So by accepting, crowning Hashem upon ourselves, we ask because then we understand that nothing can happen in this world without Hashem. So we ask Him that He will help us to pray in front of Him, that He will help us to follow His way, that He will help us to have His fear in everything that we do. That I will see Hashem in front of me all of the time. Because if I see Hashem in front of me all of the time, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, then we have the schut to do the will of Hashem as He wants us to do His will. So how do we do that? In the path that a, that a person wants to go, Hashem opens the path for him. So we ask from Hashem for help. We, we ask from, this is a, a humbleness. We ask from Hashem, please Hashem, want my prayer, want my tefillah, help me daven in front of you, help me pray in front of you, Hashem. You ask from Hashem, once we ask from Hashem, also all of the thoughts that are not connected to Hashem will go away. Because we ask from Hashem, we understand, we are crowning, by asking this, we are crowning Hashem upon ourselves. In every organ and every vein that we have. Why? Because that a human being is created from heaven and earth. So we know, that's why, but that's why Adam is called Adam. That I will be like heaven, like Hashem Besiyat Adishmaya, and we have Adama from the earth that he came. So the body comes from the earth, but the soul comes from heaven, from Hashem. So this is his part. Once Hashem takes the part, the body goes back to earth. So everything that we do, the good things and the goods and the things that we don't listen to Hashem, every human being, every creature has the essence of Hashem in it. So revealing the unity of Hashem in this world by crowning Hashem in this world, this is the purpose why we came. And this starts with emuna. The tool of emuna is davening, is praying. So when we pray to Hashem, then we use the tool of emuna of, of believing in Hashem. Because the, when we come to this world, until we go out of this world, we are only visitors. So when we come to the world, until we go out of this world, as visitors in this world, we, come to, we came for our fixing. All of the tests, all of the challenges that we have in life, all of them are challenges of emuna. All of them. Challenges of faith in Hashem. It's true for the children of Israel. It's true for the nations. They have to follow the seven commandments of Noah. We follow the crown commandments. 613 commandments of the Torah and seven commandments of our sages. Together it's 620, which is in numerical value, keter, a crown. So, we come to Shema Yisrael. So, when we say Shema Yisrael, we are witnesses of crowning Hashem in this world, and the truth is Hashem's truth. So, we say Shema Yisrael, Hashem Elokeinu, Hashem Echad. It says in the Masechet Psachim, in the Gemara, Masechet Psachim, Daf Nun Vav, it's written like this. Just a minute, let me open. In, in page Nun Vav 56, Ayin Alef, it says, Da'amar Rabbi Shimon ben Lakish, it's written in Bereshit, in Parashat Be'echi, Ve'ikra Yaakov el Bana, Ve'yomer he'aspu ba'agid alachem. Yaakov Avinu, before he passes away, he calls all of his sons, and he puts them around his bed, 
ביקש יעקב לגלות לבניו קץ הימין, and he wants to reveal in front of them at the end of days, and what will happen at the end of days. And then he still came in the Shekhinah, and the Shekhinah, the Divine Presence, went away from him. Amar Shem Achas Veshalom, Yesh Bemitati Psul, he says, maybe something is wrong with what I did, which means maybe I did something wrong, I made a sin. For example, like Avraham Avinu had a son that was Yitzchak and a son that was Ishmael. And Yitzchak had Yaakov and had Esav. So he said, maybe I, I did something wrong, he says. Amru lo banav, shma Yisrael Hashem Elokeinu Hashem Echad. His sons told him, shma Yisrael Hashem. The name of mercy of Hashem Elokeinu, our God, which is the name of judgment of Hashem. Hashem Echad, everything is unity, everything is one, everything is mercy. Amru, Keshem she'en belibcha ela echad, like you have unity in your heart, kach e'en belibeinu ela echad. Also, we have in our hearts only one. What does it mean? It means that with all of ve'ahavta et Hashem Elokecha bechol levavcha ubechol nafshecha ubechol modecha. We say, when we say Shema Yisrael, that we love Hashem with all of our soul, with all of our heart, with all of our soul, and with all of the measures that Hashem measures for us. Measures that are good measures, and measures that we feel that are, that are not so good, that we don't, we're not so happy with them, even though they're all good. Kol David Rachman al everything that Hashem does is only for the best, only for the good, Besiat Adishmaya. So they say the measure of judgment and the measure that Hashem measures for human beings and the measure of, of mercy are all one. We know this is Hashem. There's nothing but Hashem, which means that it's Bevchinat Anochi Hashem Elokecha. I am Hashem your God. The Kriyat Shema Yisrael. When we say Shema Yisrael, this is parallel to the Ten Commandments. Lo Yelecha Elokim Acherim. There's no other God except for Hashem, in every measure that He measures for us. And everything eventually is good for us, because Hashem sees the whole picture. There's an eye that sees, and an ear that hears, and all of our actions are written in a book, and there's recoordination, and we are fixing everything from the beginning till the end, because because Hashem wants all of the sparks of holiness that went into the evil uh, being, which is uh, uh, because of the sin of Adam and Eve, he wants all the sparks of holiness to come back in order to reveal Mashiach. So they tell him that their hearts is one, that, which means there's unity of Hashem, the name of Hashem of mercy, and the name of Hashem of judgment. At that time, Yaakov Avinu says, Baruch Shem Kvod Malchuto Lo'olam Ve'ed, which means, blessed is his name forever. Besiyat Adishmaya. So, Aben Ishchai says, once we say Echad, we say the word one, which is unity, the Aleph means Hashem Itbarach, means Alufo Shel Olam, the creator of the world, the king of the universe. This is Aleph. And how do we know this is Aleph? Because Aleph is combined from Vav and two Yudim. We have the Vav and the Yud that is above the Vav and Yud that is underneath the Vav. So the Vav is six in numerical value, Begimatria, Yudim, Yud is ten, twice Yud is twenty, twenty-six is the name of Hashem of mercy, Yud Kei Vav Kei, everything is mercy. Then we have the Chet and we have the Dalet. The Ben Ishchai says that we, that we need to crown Hashem on seven heavens and earth. Because Chet in numerical value is eight. So it's seven heavens and earth. We crown Hashem upon seven heavens and earth. And then we have the Dalet. Dalet is the four corners of the wind, four corners of the world. We, we crown Hashem. Not, uh, so the, the Ben Ishchai uh, Ish says we crown Hashem over the whole world. And the Chafetz Chaim says also upon ourselves. It says... החפץ חיים says על אב שלום שרדות הגנלנו שביקר יחבנ למליח את הקדוש ברוך הוא על עצמו ועל זרעו מלכות גמורה ושלמה. 
which means we have to have in our intention our cells that we're crowning just like we, we spoke that we're crowning him over all of our organs and veins and over all of our descendants for eternity that and by doing this by this kavana that we are doing the intention in our hearts and in our minds we are fulfilling the mitzvah of the unity of Hashem. Why? Because every mitzvah is divided to three clothing. A, a thought, a speech, and, and an action. So we are, by doing this, by having the kavana in our mind and in our hearts, when it's even then we have the, the thought. <coughs> the speech when we do the speech, it's really the action. Why, do, why is it so important to speak, to have a clothing of speech? Because the speech, when we speak and we say something, then our ears listen. And the ears are the microphone of the organs of the body. So once the ears listen, they are the microphone of all of our organs and veins, all of the body listens. So all of the body and the beastly soul follow the thought that neshama that is inside the mind and the ruach that is inside the heart so they follow all of the soul that is divided between the mind the heart and and the and the, the beastly uh, and the beastly soul that is inside the blood so by doing this we're fulfilling the whole mitzvah every mitzvah and mitzvah in the torah has to be fulfilled with three clothing with thought speech and action so we see that oh, by doing this we are, we are crowning Hashem upon the whole world and, and we are crowning Hashem upon ourselves and by doing this we are connecting our soul. We have to have a thought that we're connecting our soul to Hashem and we are asked from Hashem to bestow His light, His internal light upon us and the whole world. Us, Klal Israel and the whole world, Bezrat Hashem. This is Mamash opening the gates. We awaken in this world. We are, there's awakening in, in heavens. And then from heavens, there's awakening. So there's also Hashem bestows light to this world, which means blessing in every aspect of life. The blessings. And the most important blessing today that we need is that Mashiach will be revealed. And, and Hashem will cleanse the world Bezat Hashem and give us the schut to see the Beit HaMikdash coming down from heaven and see the gates of King David that he built coming from earth and put the gates and Bezat Hashem see the Kohanim Ba'avodatam, the, Koh the priests in the, in the work in Beit HaMikdash Bezat Hashem, Leviim Beduchanam, the Leviim singing Shir Ayom Bezat Hashem, Ve'Yisrael Be'Ma'amadam and the children of Israel Bezat Hashem coming to, to Beit HaMikdash Be'Siyat HaDisham Bimra Be'Aminu Amen. Mm -hmm. And we see that Shema Israel starts the Shema. Oh, another thing. When uh, I thought, I, Hashem gave me the suit to tell you that the unity of Hashem depends on the unity also of the children of Israel. And how do, you, do we see this? In Silat Yesharim Shal Ramchal, he says over there, it's the honor of Hashem depends on the honor of the children of Israel. And the honor of the children of Israel depends on Hashem, which means when the children of Israel follow the way of Hashem and accept upon themselves all Malchut Shamaim, from the, not from the mouth only, but the mouth and the heart that ex we accept upon ourselves and we crown Hashem in this world every day from the beginning, every night when we go to sleep and every day in the morning, we crown Hashem over this world, Hashem. we cause unity of the children of Israel and Hashem. How do we know? Because the word Echad, one, unity, like we said, Aleph, Aleph is the name of Hashem, which means Aleph is Yud Kei Vav Kei in numerical value because it's Vav and two Yudim. And this is the chariot also of Hashem because the chariot of Hashem has Avraham Avinu, Yitzchak, Yaakov, and David Amelech. So we see that Aleph, Bivchinat Yaakov Avinu, Ishtan Yoshevo Alim, that he's a, a, a humble person that sits in, in between the tents, between the tent of Avraham Avinu and the tent of, ya of Yitzchak Avinu. So because Yaakov Avinu is Tiferet and he is Chesed, 
אמת, אמת ליעקב וחסד לאברהם, because יעקב אבינו is אמת, and אמת is תפארת, is the glory in the count of the Kabbalah. So because he's the glory, the beauty, he's the vav, this is the Torah, תפארת is the Torah, this is the vav. So the vav stands like this. It's in between yod, yod that is above it and yod that is down. But the yod that is above it is from the right side. The right side, our right side, is the side of mercy, of chesed. The left side, the yod that is beneath it, is from the left side. The left side is, is judgment. We are divided by the symmetrical line, which is the line of peace, of shalom. Then we have chesed, the right side, and we have judgment, the left side. So because the, the yod that is above is from the right side, this is parallel to Avraham Aminu that worshipped Hashem with mercy, and then the yod that is beneath is parallel to Yitzchak Avinu that worshipped Hashem with judgment. So Yaakov Avinu is in between them. And this is part of the chariot of Hashem. Then we have the Chet. What is the Chet? Chet is eight. It's the eight children, the eight tribes that came. Six tribes from Leah and two tribes from Rachel for the two Imahot. So we have eight children. And then we have Daled, the four children that came from Bilha and Zilpah. So together, Chet is eight, Daled is four. Together it's twelve. It's twelve tribes. So there's unity between Hashem and the children of Israel. And one depends on the other because we are in this world crowning Hashem in this world. Hashem is the king of, 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 the, of the world. He doesn't need anyone. But he gave us the schut, the merit. It's not obvious. He gave us the schut to crown him in, his, in this world and to reveal and announce his name in this world. Just like Abraham Avinu and Sarah Emenu, Hanefesh Shasu Becharan, which means all of the people, all of the souls that they brought to Hashem, that they will know that there's a king to this world. So we see Bezat Hashem by by announcing by uh, by announcing and crowning Hashem in Shema Israel, and this is a witness because Shema. The Ayn is a big Ayn, it's a, it's a large letter, and then Echad is a large, a large letter, I, uh, the Dalet is a large letter, so Ayn and Dalet, the Ed, it's a witness. So we become witnesses, Besiyat Adishmaya, of the kingdom of Hashem, of the ruling of Hashem in this world. There's nothing else except Hashem. God is everything and everything is God. Elokim ze akol ve akol ze elokut. And there's nothing else except for Hashem. Everything is like illusion because also our power of live, livelihood that is inside us, the neshama that is inside us, the soul that is inside, is from Hashem. Everything that we see, as everything has the livelihood of Hashem. Other, otherwise it doesn't exist. It's not here. So what do we do in order, in order to crown Hashem? So one of the ways that we crown Hashem you, we, we just heard Nishmat Kol Chai is by thanking Hashem and when we, when we heard Nishmat Kol Chai Nishmat Kol Chai Tervar Et Shimcha Hashem Elokeinu Hashem Elokeinu Hashem the measure of mercy and Elokeinu God the measure of judgment Veruach Kol Basar Tefeo Teromem Zerecha Malkeinu which means that the soul of every spirit the, the, the soul of every being is going to glorify your remembrance, our, our, our God. So by saying thank you to Hashem and, and acknowledging that everything comes from Hashem, the good things in our life and also the things that we think that are not good but eventually are from our best interest in order to do the fixing in this world because this is why we came. This is a big world. This is the world of action. Zolama Asiya. And only in this world we can fix everything. And we have the schut in the month of Elul. Not nimla betulash nemasar chodashim. Masechet ketubot. It's written, we give the Virgo 12 months. Which means because Elul is the end of the year, it includes everything that was before that. All of the 12 months. We have a big schut. We have a big schut to fix everything. <coughs> Hashem loves us to give us a schut. And shloshim yom nechshavim keshana, it's written in Masechet Rosh Hashanah, page 10, it's written, 
30 days are, are considered as a year, which is the days of the month of Elul. Ani ledodi vedodili, I'm to my beloved and my beloved to me. So by saying thank you to Hashem, Hashem, because we are admitting that everything is from Hashem. So it's good, especially now in the month of Elul, to say thank you to Hashem for everything. So um, there's a special prayer of thank you, and we will read it together. And Bezat Hashem, with, with, with explanation, thank you, thank you Hashem. Can you please mute yourself? Thank you Hashem, King of Kings and Master of the World. Thank you for the infinite times that you helped me, supported me, rescued me, encouraged me, cured me, guarded me over me, and make, made me happy. Thank you for always being with me. Hashem is always with us. We forget Hashem. Hashem doesn't forget us. Hashem said in Malachi, it says over here, that a son respects his father, and, and, the, and the servant has a fear of his master. So he says, Hashem says, if I'm a father, and Hashem is our father, we have we are the firstborns of Hashem. Hashem is our father. So Hashem says, if I'm your father, where is my respect? And if I'm your master, I'm your king, where's my fear? So the respect of Hashem is Besiat Adishmaya, studying the Torah. The fear of Hashem is following His commandments. And by this we do the unity of Hashem and the unity of the children of Israel. And Hashem asked, how do I know that you love me only if you love my children? So if you, because you love my creation, I know you love me. So it says, thank you for always being with me. Thank you for giving me the strength to observe your commandments. Nothing we can do on our own. I cannot move my hand. I cannot speak without Hashem. It's the livelihood, the soul that Hashem gave inside of us. The body is only the clothing of the soul. So Hashem, get, once the body goes back to earth, we have a spiritual clothing over the soul. We are the soul inside the body. And the soul has also 248 organs and 365 parts. So parallel to the body. So we can see that, uh, thank you, that you helped us, gave us the strength to observe your commandments, which means by, by being healthy, to do good <laughs> deeds and pray. Thank you for all of the times you helped me, and I didn't know how to say thank you. We don't always say thank you to Hashem. You know, we give Advar Torah. Oh, we do something. Hashem gave us, we are something from Hashem and Hashem did this. The first thing that we need to do is to put tzedakah. To put tzedakah and to say, Hashem, thank you for helping us. Thank you for, for fulfilling my will. Thank you, Hashem, to show appreciation to Hashem. It's by saying thank you. Even, and we teach by example. So when we, our children see that we thank Hashem, they will also learn how to appreciate all of the things that Hashem gave them and to say thank you to the parents. It's not obvious. Nothing is obvious in this world. And to say thank you to the parents, the grandparents, and, and to say thank you for every shaliach, every messenger that God does something for them. And first of all, say thank you to Hashem. Thank you for all of the love, loving kindness you do for me each and every moment. Each and every moment that we can breathe, it's not obvious that we can go and take out our waste. It's not obvious that we can eat, that we can chew, that we can move our organs. This is not obvious. And for every minute and every split of a second that we can breathe. Thank you, Hashem, for every breath I breathe. Thank you, Hashem, for all of the things that I do have. And thank you, Hashem, even for the things that I don't have. Why? Because what we need for the fixing in this world we do have. And what Hashem gave us is, is a loan. Once we go out of this world, we don't take anything except for Torah and commandments and good deeds that we did. We don't take anything. Everything stays after us for another person that will do the fixing. Thank you for my periodic dif difficulties, which means for all of the challenges that we have in life. 
my, my occasional setbacks and for the times when I didn't feel happy because everything is for my ultimate benefit. Even if I don't see that, it's always for my best. Deep in my heart, I know that everything that comes from you is the very best for me. You know, in this world, all the good things we say, Baruch HaTob HaMetiv. But the things that we feel that are challenging and not good, we say, Baruch Dayan HaMet. But know that when we pass away from this world, after a long and good life, we, when we go to the true world, we say, Baruch HaTob HaMetiv, blessed he that does good. Uh, I, that is good and does good we say over everything because then we see that everything was up for our best interest I know that everything that comes from you is the very best for me and I and, and designed especially for me in precision and exacting divine providence of which only the king of kings is capable, is capable. Which means this, we, Mamash, by saying thank you to Hashem, we are crowning Hashem because we are admitting that everything comes from Him. There's no existence without Him to anything that is in the world. Thank you for the periodic times that, uh, that are difficult for me. For only the, uh, that way, uh, it in, uh, un, uh, enables us to fully appreciate the good times. For only after being in darkness, one can appreciate the light. Because only after challenges we, have, we appreciate the goodness that Hashem bestows upon us. Because if the whole life would be only good, good things, we wouldn't have any appreciation for this. And we see it in Parashat Ekev when Hashem says, when the, Beware not to forget me, says Hashem, if you are wealthy and you have everything and you think that Kochi v'otzem yadi asali tachai laze. So, Besiyat Hashem... Besiata Dishmaya, um, dear ladies, uh, if you want, I will I will make a, a I will make a, a, a picture of this on the WhatsApp in English, in Hebrew, and in Russian, so you can say the thank you every day, Bezrat Hashem, especially on the month of Elul. So we continue. So we appreciate uh, the, uh, we appreciate the light only when we come out of the darkness. That's uh, that's our nature, Besiata Dishmaya. So thank you for the wonderful life you have given me. Everything is good. You know, when do we come to real happiness? When we have true emuna in Hashem, the true faith in Hashem in God brings us to true bitachon. To true confidence in Hashem. What does it mean? Only when we have challenges, then our, our, our faith and confidence in Hashem is tested. If truly Hashem is the king, we, we crown the king upon us, Hashem, and we believe that everything that He does is for our true best, for our true good, Besiat Adishmaya. So only when we have challenges, Hashem tests our emuna, our faith in Him, and from this the bitachon, the confidence that we have in Him. So if we have confidence in Hashem, in the dark times and in the light times, even in the dark times, know that in the dark times there's more light than in the light itself, that in the light, in the good times. Why? Because it says in chapter 91 in Tehillim, Tzadik Aleph, which means Hashem sends His angels to protect us and to keep us safe in all of our ways. When we have challenges, this is the time Hashem sends His angels to hold us, to give us the strength to overcome the challenges. But it depends in our mind, in the faith and our heart that we have in Hashem and the confidence that we have in Hashem. If we have confidence that this comes, everything comes from Hashem, the Shem, Hashem is the king of the world, of the universe, and if He gave us this challenge, He gave us the strength to overcome it, and we say, Hashem, this is from you, you will help us overcome this. Then, we come to happiness, the simcha. This is the, uh, we need to have that, knowing of Hashem. From knowing Hashem, like the Rambam says, the Yisodot Torah. this is the, the um, fundamental, it's the fundamental uh, formation of, of the rules of the Torah. 
this is a fundamental emuna. Without this, there's no Torah. That we know that Hashem is the king of the universe. He created the world. And that's why we need to follow his commandments. Otherwise, there's no reason to follow his commandments. So this is the basic of emuna. So when we know this, and then we have the faith in Hashem, the tool of the faith in Hashem of Emunah is the tefillah, is davening to Hashem, is praying to Hashem, is the tefillah. And from this we come to confidence in Hashem. Hashem tests our confidence, like he tests Avraham Avinu, ten tests. And the more you cling to Hashem, you, the more you become, you, you have unity with Hashem, the higher the level of challenges are because you're elevated your soul is elevated so this and the, the darkness Hashem sends the angels to help us so when a person has confidence in Hashem from here he comes to happiness in every measure that Hashem measures for him every measure in measures that are, he feels that is very good for him and in measures that he feels that are difficult for him he comes to happiness because he knows everything is from hashem hashem is my father he's the king of universe of the universe and by this we crown hashem in this world and we are happy because we know that there's no existence except for hashem and everything that he measures for us is only for our best interest so this is crowning Hashem. So thank you for the wonderful life you have given me. Thank you for every little thing that I have. For everything comes from you and from no one else. Thank you for always listen, listening to my prayers. Creator of the world, I apologize from the bottom of my heart for all of the times that I didn't appreciate what you gave me. And we always fall, we're human beings. We always fall, but we need to pick ourselves from the place that we fall and ask Hashem to help us, that we will see His mercy in everything that is around us, Bezrat Hashem, and we will know how to appreciate it. So I apologize from the bottom of my heart for all of the times that I didn't appreciate what you gave me, and instead of thanking you, I only complained. I am dust and ashes and you are the entire universe. Please don't ever cast me away. Dear ladies, I would like to bless all of us. Vektiva vechatima tova, leshana tova vemetuka, begashmiut veberuchaniut bezat Hashem, to be written and sealed in the book of life to a happy and sweet year physically and spiritually Bezat Hashem, that we will all have this put to greet Mashiach Tzidken Bachamim Murim B'ma'a B'yameinu Amen. I want to add something. Do you have a word of Mashiach? Do you have a word of Mashiach? Do you have a word of Mashiach? This is the time. Bezrat Hashem, if anybody wants a Please call Yochevet and Women's Store Education also made the prayer for Mashiach. And, and Hashem gave us the schut to take the prayer of the Ramchal, Rabbi, Rabbi Moshe Chaim Luchato. Ramchal, this is the prayer for Mashiach, asking for Mashiach. Know that if every day we all ask for Mashiach and we need it, uh, SOS Mamash. We need Mamash Hashem to, to deliver us now. And if we, if we have the schut to say the prayer of Mashiach, it's divided. The first half is all about the prayer of Mashiach of, uh, by the Ramchal. And the second half is all of the blessings, all of the brachot that we say when we see Mashiach. So if we say the bracha for Mashiach every day, Hashem will give us the schut also to fulfill the other half of the card and to say the brachot and to greet Mashiach, Besiyat Adishmaya. So we have it in Hebrew, in English, in French, in Russian, in Spanish, in Georgian. We have it in all, almost all languages. So Bezrat Hashem, you call us and we can send it by mail to you and you can spread it out. And yes, <coughs> you 
Okay, so this I'm going to make a copy, but if we have more, if you want, if I have more of this, we can also, the prayer of thanks to Hashem, we'll, we'll, um, we'll send it by mail, and also we'll send it, Bezat Hashem, uh, we're going to make a, a picture in the WhatsApp, so you all, all, all can have it. So Bezat Hashem, we all have the schut to greet Mashiach Tzedkenu Barachamim Muim Bimra Be'ameinu, Amen. And בסיאת הדישמה אליהו נביזחו לטוב לולא מיפרד אדם מחברו בדבר הלחיה חיד ברבים הלחא קרבים.